Hey there, it's Christian. Today I want to talk about something a little different and that is reaching out to people through email or letters. Um, I think this is a great thing to do. It's how you get to meet really cool people. Why do I want to talk about it? Well, because I actually get a fair number of messages, almost 100% yeah, email, and um, some of them are really cool and I'm like, wow, what a great person. I want to write back to this person. And some of them leave something to be desired. And I would like to help you move out of that second camp and to the first camp of, yeah, I want to write back to this person and talk to them. Um, and if you're receiving messages like this, I'd like to give you this video so you can be like, hey, thanks for writing. Check out this video from Christian so you know how to do this better next time. First off, great job for sending anything. You have no chance whatsoever of having that cool person write to you and meet you unless you reach out to them. So you have to reach out and doing so puts you in an elite camp of people who are actually making stuff happen in their lives. So good job. I, I really appreciate that. Second tip, do not downplay yourself. Do not self-deprecate. Do not say, oh, I hope I'm not wasting your time or I really don't know, blah, 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 blah. Don't apologize. It, it only hurts your cause. Um, I say this because I've done this before and it bothers me. So it probably bothers me more than it would other people because it's something I'm trying to overcome myself. Third point, get to the point fast. I don't want to read five paragraphs before I get to what the heck is this email doing in my inbox. In fact, I won't read five paragraphs. I might read one before deleting the message. So you want to get to the point within the first two, three, four sentences so, so that your recipient knows why you're writing to them. Like that's, that's a good thing to do, to like respect them enough to, to tell them what's going on here. Fourth point, don't tell them about you, talk about them. Nobody cares about you except for how it applies to them. I've gotten these messages where people, people tell me all about themselves and I'm like, why do I care? Like, I'm sure you're a good person and your mom loves you and all that stuff, but why should the recipient of your message care? Make it about them. They care about themselves. So if you're writing and you found something to be fascinating, tell them. Tell them like, hey, I thought what you did in X was awesome. I applied it this way and it's given me these results. Thank you. Like, that's, that's a really great message to receive because people who put stuff out there usually care about people actually using the stuff that they put out there. It, you know, it's a psychological, yeah, and it's like kind of the point. So tell them, say, hey, thank you, here's what I did. They'll be like, okay, this is a smart person because they can, they can recognize that I'm awesome. Good job. So the flattery works. Also, they're a go-getter who applies the things that they learn. Also good. And third, they're a good enough person to say thank you to the person who helped them. Like, that's three awesome things that you can do. So talk about them. Give them good, good stuff that you've learned from them, why they are awesome. They will love reading that. Unless they're some sort of weirdo. But whatever, most of them will love reading that. They will not love reading about you and the problems you are facing and the things that they could do if they wanted to spend lots of their time helping you. You gotta give them a reason why you're awesome, not a job for them to do and spend lots of time on for no pay. Fifth point, finish your message with a call to action, um, a specific call to action. So I get these messages that end with, hey, could we get coffee sometime in the next 12 years? And I'm like, what? Like, they're not gonna go through their whole calendar and give you like 10 options, like that's, you think that you're helping them by being flexible, it's not helping them because it forces them to think, it forces them to look through their calendar, all of which are things that they just won't do. It's a lot easier to ignore or delete the email. So what you want to do is say, hey, are you free to talk for 20 minutes on the phone next Tuesday at 9.15 a.m.? I'll call you. That gives them something that they can say yes or no. Like, real easy thing. It's not like a, an amorphous sometime in the next, you know, millennium thing. So give them that. It's, it's showing that you respect them and they in turn should respect that back and say yes or they'll say no, how about Wednesday at 10.15. Something like that. That's much better than the amorphous blob. Last piece of advice, which is 
the overriding theme of all of this, which is to put yourself in their shoes. Look at this message that you've crafted. Review it. How does it feel to get this? Is it about you or is it about them? Is it respecting their time so it gets to the point, it's short enough that they can do stuff, it's got something interesting in there that they want to read about and maybe they care about you now? Does it, does it hit you that way or, or some things that you can fix? Think it through like that, like how does it feel to get this? Also, are, you, are they going to be getting this on a Monday morning with a thousand other things so it just gets shuffed away? Uh, shuffed. <laughs> are they going to get it on a Friday afternoon when they're already sort of checked out and thinking about what they're doing over the weekend and maybe family stuff is happening? Those are my, my little tips for how to craft your messages better, how to increase the probability that they actually write back, and you get to meet that cool person who does that thing that you think is so cool. I think it's really good to send these messages. I think it's a little bit better to send them really well, but the main point is send them out there. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to get a 100% response rate, but as Sheryl Sandberg told us, done is better than perfect, and uh, with that I gotta end. Thanks so much everybody. If you like this message, if you like this video, if you want to hear more from me, like, subscribe, and uh, please leave some comments below if you've had terrible experiences sending or receiving uh, messages like this. I want to hear them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.